Cisco Certified Network Associate. This is Imran Rafai, your trainer for this entire series. This is a series update. So we are here to give you an update regarding our series that has been going on uh, on YouTube for a very, very long time. Uh, I must apologize for the dog <laughs> that is barking in the background. As you see on the slide, we are officially updating our series from the old series to the latest 20301, which is the new CCNA from Cisco, right? So how are we going to uh, take our series forward? How are we going to upgrade the series from what we did all this while and how uh, we're going to map to the new uh, series? That's what you will learn in this video. So stay tuned. And like always, before we go ahead, click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So once you click on the bell, you need to click on all so that you would be notified whenever we add a new video. And if you click on that like button, we'd be very, very happy. And of course, it serves a purpose. Right. So what are we going to answer in this video? First, this, like I said, this is an official update about our series and how we're going to map to the new Cisco CCNA. As you know, uh, Cisco updated the CCNA to what they call the 200.301 CCNA. So the first question, is this series still valid? And I have said this many, many times on various social media platform that this series is valid and will always be valid because whenever Cisco updates the version, like how they have done now, we will be adding new videos if there are new topics in the syllabus, right? And if there are old syllabus, uh, like for instance, now we, we learned... Uh, EIGRP, we learned uh, RIP, right? In the new syllabus, these are not there. So if you if you follow our uh, series on YouTube, you will obviously learn more than what is required, but you will not learn less than what is required. So this series will always be valid, right? Maybe even five years later, it will still be valid because in the meantime, whenever Cisco updates the syllabus, we'll come back and add new videos on new to to bridge the gap. Uh, from let's say in a in a series, uh, we don't have those new topics. We will add those new topics. But if let's say for instance topics like OSPF or on IP version four, these are topics that has been there for like these are technologies that's been there for last 20, 30 years. So if you have learned IP version 4 from any video on YouTube in the last, even videos that's uploaded 10 years ago or 15 years ago, right? Or books that is written 20 years ago. Those technologies are still valid because those technologies don't evolve. It's, an, it's not a new technology. It's a technology that's been there for a while. So that technology will never change. So as long as that technology is part of your new CCNA, those technologies and those videos will always be valid. So if you watch a video in our 52 videos that's already there, if you watch any of those videos, any of, any of the technologies that you've learned there, those technologies will not change, right? Whether it is part of your new CCNA or not, that's a different story. But you will always know the, the technology and you will know, this is always knowledge for you, right? So... Remember this, this series will always be valid, right? That's our aim. I don't know how long I can keep this, but as long as I'm active, I will make sure that we will come back and add new videos about new topics if there are new topics that's not covered in our series. Now, if you go to Cisco's website and you look at the Cisco's uh, course content or syllabus, we can see what is there uh, in our series, so in the 52 videos, what we already covered and what we have not covered so that we have an understanding and this we can use to bridge the gap, right? So let me go to that uh, website.
All right, this is the website that you need to go. So I'm going to put this link uh, in the description, right? And um, if you come down, you will see that we have six sections, right? First one is network fundamentals, then network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, automation, and programmability, right? So if you if you click on network uh, fundamentals, we see we have uh, many subdivisions. So let's go through. The 1.1 says explain the role and function of network components. We, of course, discuss routers, uh, L2 and L3 switch we discuss. Uh, next generation firewall and IPS we haven't discussed. It's, it was part of uh, security. So like what ha what Cisco has done now is they more you know you already know by now that Cisco has made all CCNA uh, uh, specializations into one CCNA. So now this new CCNA is everything. It has wireless, it has security, and it has uh, a little bit of programmability. And these are all new topics that's come up, right? So. Earlier, um, I, a firewall and IPS was part of Cisco uh, CCNA security. Now this is all part of CCNA. So we will cover this. So this we have not covered. Access point was wireless. We have not covered. Controller was, uh, it was part of um, wireless controller. And of course, the new Cisco DNA center is where you uh, control all the devices, right? We'll come back to all that. So this is also something we haven't covered. Uh, endpoints and servers we haven't covered, right? So 1.1. Some of the topics we have, some we haven't, so we will come back and explain all these topics uh, again. Uh, 1.2, um, we we covered the network topology architectures, two-tier architecture and three-tier architecture. architecture we <clears throat> two-tier architecture and three-tier architecture we have covered, but spine leaf, uh, WAN we did, uh, small, uh, small office, home office, this is a concept we haven't really touched, but again, we have, like, not done properly, but we have discussed uh, small office and home office. We'll come back to it. And on-premise, uh, on-premises and cloud, right? This is also something. These are different architectures that we need to discuss. So we will come back and discuss this as well. 1.3 sing uh, single mode fiber, multi mode fiber. Uh, we really haven't uh, Ethernet shared media point. Ethernet we did discuss, but again, these this is also something. We will discuss. So 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, even though we discussed few topics, we will come back and discuss all these three uh, in one of the uh, new videos that we will be uploading very soon. 1.4, identify interface and cable issues. We did discuss this. Uh, compare TCP and UDP. We did discuss that. 1.6, uh, configure verify IP version 4 addresses. We did discuss that. Uh, describe the need for IP version 4 private addresses we discussed that configure and verify ip version 6 addressing and prefixes we did discuss that right so um ip version 6 address types these also we discussed so 1.4 to 1.9 uh, we have discussed and most probably will not be coming back to that uh, 1.10 verify ip parameters for client os uh, windows mac uh, and linux again we sort of discussed this but we'll come back to this uh, one um, 1.11, describe wireless principles. Like I said, we haven't touched wireless. We haven't obviously discussed this. We'll, we'll definitely discuss this in one of the new videos. Uh, explain virtualization fundamentals. Again, this is something we haven't discussed. We will be discussing that. Uh, 1.13, um, MAC address learning and aging, frame switching, frame flooding, MAC address stable. These are topics that we have already discussed. So we will not be coming here. So. So like the like discussed, uh, this is uh, for the first topic that is network fundamentals out of which orange and red are uh, topics that we will be coming back and we will be discussing more in depth. The ones in green are topics that we have already discussed. So you should be able to find these topics in one of the videos from day one to day 52, right? So you can go back and watch those videos and you should be able to uh, you would see that we have already covered, right? So if, if you think one of these topics we really need to uh, come back or you think we have not done enough in depth, you can always comment on this uh, video. So just just feel free to comment. And uh, we will we will follow those comments. And if we really think something is, uh, I mean, one of the topics need to be discussed again, we will definitely uh, be discussing it again. Feel free to uh, take a screenshot of this page so that you can uh, keep it as a reference. You know what are the videos that's going to come very soon as a bridge before we start on uh, some of the new topics in this CCNA. Next uh, is two, which is network access. Um, 
again let's go back to the website all right so if you see uh, 2.0 network access you see uh, 2.1 uh, is configure and verify virtual lands normal range and spanning multiple switches uh, so under that we have access ports, uh, default VLAN and connectivity. These are topics we have definitely discussed. Configure and verify inter-switch connectivity using uh, trunk ports, uh, .1Q encapsulation and native VLAN. So these are topics we have discussed. Uh, configure and verify layer 2 uh, discovery protocols like CDP and LLDP. Now this we haven't discussed. We might have seen it some places but we haven't really um, explicitly explain this topic. So something this is this is again a topic that I will be coming back and discussing. 2.4 is configure and verify layer 2 and layer 3 ether channel LACPs. Um, we will be coming back and discussing this as well. 2.5 describe the need for basic operation of uh, RPVST plus spanning tree protocol um, and identify basic operations. It says uh, again, this is a topic we have discussed and quite recently we have discussed uh, to uh, root ports, uh, root bridge, uh, port states, uh, port fast benefits, right? This is something we have discussed, we will not be coming back. Compare Cisco wireless architectures and ac uh, access point modes. Um, we haven't discussed. 2.7, describe physical infrastructure connections of VLAN components. Access point wireless controller, access trunk ports and uh, link aggregations. We haven't discussed, we'll come back to it. Describe access point and wireless control management access connections like Telnet, SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, console, and TACAX plus and radius. Again, this is something we'll be coming back and discussing. 2.9 is configure the components of a wireless LAN access for client connectivity using GUI, uh, only such as while, uh, wireless LAN creation, security setting, QoS profile, and was advanced VLAN setting, uh, wireless LAN setting. Um, again, this is something we will come back and discuss as well. So that's what uh, this says here. So if you look at uh, network access, this is what you would see. Green topics that we will not be discussing. Reds are topics that we will be discussing very, very soon in one of the new videos. So when you come to uh, section 3, uh, you see that um, 3.1 um, interpret the components of routing table. Uh, we have discussed it. Determine how a router makes a forwarding decision by default. Again, something we have discussed. Configure and verify IP version 4 and IP version 6 static routing. We have discussed it. Uh, if you look at all these uh, routes, so you see default route, network route, host route, and floating static. We have discussed this. Configure and verify single area OSPF version 2. Again, this is something we have discussed. Describe the purpose of first hop redundancy protocol. So maybe we haven't discussed a very small topic. We will come back and uh, discuss that also in one of the new videos. So that is a version, uh, that is the section three, IP connectivity. Next is uh, section four, which is IP services. If you come to IP uh, services, 4.1, configure and verify an inside NAT, uh, inside source NAT using static and pools. We have discussed that. Configure and verify NTP operating in client and server mode. We have discussed that. Explain the role of DHCP and DNS within a network. Again, this is something we have discussed. Explain the functions of SNMP in network operations. Definitely, we have covered that. Uh, describe the use of syslog features, including facilities and levels. Uh, we have discussed. Uh, configure and verify DHCP client and relay. We have discussed. Uh, explain the forwarding per hop behavior, PHP for QoS. Again, we haven't uh, Q, we haven't discussed or we haven't even touched the topic, topic QoS. So that's something we will be discussing. Uh, configure network services for remote access using SSH. We have discussed and we have configured SSH. Describe the capability and functions of uh, T, FTP uh, or FTP in the network. Again, something we haven't discussed, we will be discussing. So if you look at uh, this um, slide, so you see um, 4.7 and 4.9 are two topics that we have to discuss. Uh, security fundamental, this is everything, almost a lot of things. I mean, in fact, everything comes from uh, uh, CCNA uh, security. Um, so we haven't obviously done CCNA security because our series was for CCNA. So the new CCNA has everything. So security also comes in. So everything we have to uh, speak about. So if you look at uh, section one to section four, these are many of the topics that we have discussed. Only few topics we need to add. So it's more of a bridging course. So we'll have 
few videos i don't know how many maybe two three four or five videos which we will make use of these five videos or four videos whatever which we will be used only to fill the gap so that we are covered with all the topics from one to four uh, then we'll start security fundamentals. Obviously, I'll tell now in the video, I will announce that we start security fundamentals. So, you know, we are going to cover from 5.1 onwards uh, forward from there. After that, six section six is automation programmability. Again, these are topics that we haven't uh, because automation programmability is uh, for the first time. We never had it in any of the CCNAs before. So this is definitely very, very interesting. And this is going to be new. Um, not much of programming. You will not be using much of programming, but uh, a programming language like um, uh, Python is definitely going to be helpful, right? So what we'll do is, or uh, maybe parallelly, very soon. I cannot, I cannot give you a timeline, but very soon, parallelly, I will start uh, Python. Uh, programming uh, videos. So it's going to be a Python programming course. And um, just like how we started the CCNA, it's going to teach you in a totally different way, which is going to make it very, very interesting. Now, why when we started CCNA, there were many people who were doing CCNA, but we did it in a different way. We spoke to you students. We spoke in a way where you could recollect it. We spoke and we taught you in a way where you it connected with you in a certain level. And it, it spoke to you in a way that you understand, right? So you stay tuned for our Python course. Our Python course is going to be exactly like this or better than this, who knows, right? So Python, I mean, Python is, maybe it may not be much useful for you in CCNA, but it is definitely going to help you uh, in this new age of software-defined networkings and things like that, right? And of course, it's a very good programming language to learn, and so very, very easy. So don't worry about it. You guys are going to rock it. Just stay tuned for my Python course, and trust me, you're going to love it. So compared to what we know, uh, compared to all the videos that we have, that's 52 uh, from day one to uh, day 52, which is, I think, about 55 videos, because day three we have two extra videos, so about 54 or 55 videos. If you cover all those topics, we cover about 65% of the current CCNA, that is 200-301, right? So about 65% we have already covered. Now, we'll add the new videos, and very soon we will try to take the series 200%, and that is about the time when I think you guys would be ready to take the new CCNA. So, like I said, if you have any questions or if you think you need, if you if you think that some of the topics we haven't really covered and you want them covered, please feel free to write a comment there and I will read it and I will make sure we adapt our course as, go, as we go forward so that we add those topics or if you think some of the topics um, we need to brush up again if you need to add a few more uh, uh, topics into those uh, technologies we will go ahead and do it so feel free to comment thank you so much uh, we'll be back very very soon bye bye